today. From Orchard Park, New York. This one up to about the 38. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A run with Harris out of the shotgun, and he'll be taken down at the 46 yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Oh, that's a very good run there by Najee Harris, who can take it inside. He can get to the perimeter. He can do it all with his build and his speed. This is a guy coming out of Alabama who did everything for the Crimson Tide. That's why Pittsburgh took him in the first round. Last in the league in rushing as a team last year were the Steelers. They're expecting Harris to kickstart their running game. And a nice start there to the aerial attack to pick up the first. And I think preseason is officially over now. Getting into the groove of the regular season, that's a great way to get started. First drive of the season, what a nice completion. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 38. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. That catch good for only a couple. And Charles, I'll look there at the Steelers draft class for 2021. They bucked the trend and said, we need an impact player in our backfield, and thus the selection of Najee Harris at 24. Do you like that selection or no? I absolutely love that selection as one that I kind of advocated throughout the draft process. Many people screaming, get offensive linemen. But to get a back like Harris at that spot, Get him and then come back and get the offensive lineman later. Remember, they ended up taking Pat Fire with the tight end in the second round. They did take some linemen later. Kendrick Green in the third. And then in the fourth, they took Dan Moore, the big offensive tackle out of Texas A&M. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. No signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. They'll try and run with Harris, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Steelers are on the board here first in the season opener. Uh, first quarter. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Finding Harris over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Looking to throw. Completion here to Claypool. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They hand this off to Harris, and he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now back to throw. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. 
first catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. A nice completion there for the first down. And, Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team right at the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Eric Ebron, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Steelers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end. And let... Harris starts the drive on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's making quite a splash here in his NFL debut. Well, he was advertised as being NFL ready, and both you and I tend to arch an eyebrow a little bit when we first hear that, but I think that they were right about this one. They'll look to throw here on first down, eluding the pressure right. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Another completion there, and you think about the draft back in the spring. He's selected in the first round, getting the start here, as we mentioned, in week one. It's got to be quite a whirlwind for a young quarterback. Absolutely, because going in the first round, People are going to clamor for you to be the starter right away, but many teams want you to get your feet wet first, you know, maybe just kind of hang out behind a veteran starter. In this case, though, he ascended right to the top roll, and I know he's excited about the opportunity. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Vernon Butler. Able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. Well, another completion there, and what, what a big moment in a young quarterback's life that first NFL started. Charles, obviously they wanted to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And of course, how open is he to learning? And of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? 61 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. And oh, Johnson dinged up a bit. Still down. Hopefully nothing serious. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Snell. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. They're held again. And do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. They'll set up a throw. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them. Ready. 
They'll start on the ground with Harris. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. So, CD, big changes for 2021. Of course, last year we had the expansion from six to seven teams in each conference making the playoffs. This year, the headline, the addition of a 17th regular season game. What did you think when you heard the news that this was happening? Well, my first thought, partner, was finally, because we've heard about a 17th game coming for a long time, and now here it is. So the beautiful part about all of it is that 17th game is going to be like these, these interdivision, interconference type games that are going to match up and play out over a four year period. And that's kind of cool. And I was looking forward to seeing some of the matchups that were going to come out of that for that 17th game. And could that be the game that decides a bunch of division titles? Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. They run with Harris. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. They'll look to throw now on first down. He finds his man, Johnson. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And just a yard to go here on second down. He'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. to throw again flushed out right completing it to the right side Johnson and he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one that'll go as a pickup of eight and that'll be knocked away it's incomplete they've given up a few first downs on this drive but getting the incompletion there that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide Back to throw again. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Chase Claypool, the intended target. And it's third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Steps away to his left. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 60 by 60. 60 by 60. So that challenge is a successful one. He gets this one to Johnson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Open man is Johnson. Touchdown, Steelers. Deontay Johnson as the first half is winding down. And the Steelers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond. They'll start the drive with Harris. 
Oh, what a move. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. 89 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. The last run got six, now second and four. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They run with Harris. A little second effort there on the strong run. And they drop just inside of the 20. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They'll run. Here's Harris. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the... And he's in! Touchdown, Steelers! Chase Claypool. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on. to Harris to begin the drive. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Back to throw now on first down. He finds his target, Ebron. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Eric Ebron. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my... They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. A gain of three, second down. They run again with Harris. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. 
And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet down. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll set up to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The Steelers on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third down and 12. Flush to his right. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The cover. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And hitting Juju on the slam. Touchdown! Juju Smith-Schuster from 19 yards away. And the Steelers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. First down, Harris. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Again, it's Harris on second down. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 146 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. On second down, it's Harris. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards and a first. Some early fireworks from this rookie quarterback getting the start in week one. And every time a rookie quarterback gets to start week one, you and I both know the extra attention that comes with it. We know that he's going to throw the football, but will he make the right decisions? And in this case, with his legs, he showed the defense there's an extra dynamic to his game. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 19 yards that time for number 19. A nice throw there, and we've seen a lot of those from this young man. How would you assess, Charles, his first start thus far? I think it's been everything that they could have asked for because he's handled all the basic things quite well. And even some of the wrinkles that have been thrown at him, he's shown a lot of poise throughout and made some nice plays. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. 
A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now here's Snell. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Pittsburgh, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they will get a few extra days to savor this one before they take on the Las Vegas Raiders.